If you are having chronic fatigue syndrome, you are probably aware of the experience called a crash. What is it really? Well, first of all, I'd like to say that a crash is the most horrible experience that I have ever had in life. And I've had hundreds of them. And even before I came in contact with the MECFS community, I was calling it a crash myself without having ever heard this word from someone else. So I, it already really tells quite a lot, don't you think? Hi there, beautiful soul. So what is this terrible experience that we call a crash? People are calling it differently lately giving it another label, a label that is less scary, that makes you less afraid of this phenomenon. But despite calling it differently, it is still the same experience. And this phenomenon has been researched and has given a name called the cell danger response. The cell danger response was found in a study with worms where the anabolic features of the worms were changed in order to protect them from a stressful environment, which was in their case, a cold soil. So the same thing happens as well for humans. But for humans, we're not really protected for an external environment, are we? So instead, if we go back to my work, we have to look for the internal stressor. Another word for stress is resistance, something that you don't really like to to experience maybe something that you push away or something that you fight and despite the popular opinion being that this is a mistake in the brain that you wired yourself to have this experience i don't think this is the case i see it as a survival mechanism to protect you that is there to serve you so i look at it the other way around it is something better than the alternative so what is the alternative then from the internal world? Something that is obviously not really there. Or is it? I think it is. And it is in the unconscious mind. As humans, we have the ability to suppress all kinds of feelings. And we're only aware of a fraction of what is really going on in our world. Via all kinds of programming, we have learned to suppress certain feelings and things and not be consciously aware of them. So yeah, that's also right. I don't think it is directly related by overdoing it. Although the activities that we do, or that you do, might trigger something inside of you that your limbic brain, via all kinds of processes, is trying to protect you from with the cell danger response. Therefore, in my work, I aim to investigate the unconscious mind to see what it is there. And when we found what is in your unconscious mind, and when we make this conscious, first of all, the symptoms can go extreme. But after that, the reaction to protect you from what is inside of your internal world is not really that scary anymore. And the protection mechanism is no longer needed. That doesn't mean that symptoms can, that all the symptoms can vanish. I don't think that means that at all. Because these are uh, primary symptoms. But we're also dealing with all kinds of secondary symptoms and third kinds of symptoms. Imagine how it is to live in a stressful body for decades. Things have to, um, well, let's say maybe the word repair itself. Although I think that is also not really a good word. But you have to heal, and that takes time. Plus, it will also take time to not be triggered or not do your activities in a certain way that it can trigger this. And as well, I don't want to say that you can immediately run a marathon, because I can't run, run a marathon, because I hardly ever run. So you have to still keep on pacing yourself and keep building yourself up. But I would like to give you this perspective to... Put away the fear in a different way, not by calling it differently, like an adjustment period, but by really looking at it for what it is. Scientifically researched, a cell danger response is there to protect you. 
and it is protecting you. I hope this helps and maybe you can use it for your advantage. I wish you a beautiful healing period and I wish you all the best. Bye.